Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Ahabati fillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ilman nafiyah wa rizqan tayyib wa amna muttaqabilan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all of our sins and bless us all to be a source of goodness for one another as reminding one another to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and learning how to be patient and kind and gentle and respectful with one another as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, exhorts us to do. Listen to this beautiful hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam which signifies the importance of being charitable and being a person who forgives and pardons others and that those are characteristics that please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and cause a person to be raised up uh, in the within ranks with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. An Abi Hurairata radiallahu ta'ala anhu أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال ما نقصت صدقة من مال وما زاد الله عبد بعفو إلا عزة وما تواضع أحد لله إلا رفع رفع هو الله رواه مسلم. In this hadith, the hadith of Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه he said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said that by giving charity, it doesn't take away from a person's wealth. And Allah increases a servant or a slave by when he pardons others by giving him honor, izza. And a person is not humble to, uh, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, except that Allah will raise him. In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we see that charity does not decrease your wealth. So it's important for us to give for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you will receive reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala via this life or in the next. And as the Salaf al-Salih, Ridwanullahi alayhim, used to say, that this life is the time for doing righteous deeds. A dunya, a dunya, mahal al-amal. Adunya mahal al amal wa wal akhira dar jaza. So adunya dar al amal wal akhira dar jaza. This life is the place, is the time, it's the place for doing righteous deeds, and the hereafter is the time or is the place where you will receive the rewards of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for doing those righteous actions. And so we see that by doing righteous actions <clears throat> uh, and giving sadaqah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you only receive khair and it doesn't take away from your wealth and you'll benefit in the hereafter. Dunya wal akhirah. Likewise, in this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases the slave, increases the person with honor, with izza, if he is a person who pardons others. So pardon your brothers and sisters from debt. Pardoning them, forgiving them when they, if they have wronged you even. That takes a type of honor. And that takes a type of humility for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be able to pardon for the sake of Allah wa ta'ala and then receive the honor. Allah raises the people who do this. Also in this hadith of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we see that the one who is humble for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises him or her. So if you want to be raised and you want honor in this life as well as the hereafter from your Lord, and if your Lord gives you this honor and this success, 
then people and you will be mentioned in the creation and you'll receive that in the creation. Then give in charity from your wealth and uh, be pardoning and forgiving to people. Likewise, be humble with others. And this hadith encourages us to be pardoning and humble and to be a person of rectification. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al-kareem, فَمَنْ عَفَى وَأَصْلَحَ فَأَجْرُهُ عَلَى اللَّهِ إِنَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الظَّالِمِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al-kareem, whoever pardons and rectifies, you know, they, they rectify between people, they, they rectify the situation, that they are a source of good, and they are a source of bringing hearts together, then their reward is upon Allah, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to reward them. This is a haq that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is placed upon himself, tabarak wa ta'ala, that he's going to reward and give, uh, uh, give reward and goodness to those who do that. And verily, Allah dislikes those people who are oppressive and transgression, transgress, uh, transgressive, people who transgress against others. People who oppress others, people who are trans who transgress against them their own selves by doing sin and wickedness. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all to move away from sin and bless us all with a khlas with the bat and bless us all to be of those who pardon one another and are sources of good for mankind.